We have our next guest who uh, has experienced, um, I think, a lot of long um, attacks mm -hmm. from our next guest speaks the truth. And um, for our listening and viewing audience, this is Tom Trento, your host of Trento Show. Make America great. You see the MAT back wall there. That's what that's all about. But our mission for the next 54 days is to mobilize a million and one new evangelical Christians in Florida to vote intelligently. On uh, on November third, and our our show for today, Jew hatred is alive and not well in the United States of America. Uh, our next guest was born actually in Germany, came to the United States as a kid, had an illustrious career, and I didn't know this, Susie, about uh, our next guest, but uh, he's an academic, mm -hmm. he's a scholar, mm -hmm. uh, he's an economist, a biostatistician. Whatever that is, a biostatistician. <laughs> tell us about that. We're going to find out. Um, but for many years, he has been on the forefront of fighting for, um, for civil rights for all people, including Jewish people, who usually get pushed aside. And uh, we are privileged to have our friend with us, Mort Klein. Good morning, Mort. How are you? Good morning, Mort. Good morning, Mr. Trento. Thank you I for telling the truth about virtually everything. <laughs> Uh, that's right. Even in this world. First of all, what is a biostatistician? And you, you have gotten awards and all of that, and you were several presidents as an economist. Not too many people know that. You. Uh, well, I was a senior economist in the federal government working on health policy uh, in the office of the, of the secretary of HEW. It's now HHS. Uh, and I spent 20 years working with the greatest chemist who ever lived, the two-time Nobel Prize winning Linus Pauling, <laughs> working on medical research, primarily nutrition and disease, nu uh, nutrition preventing and treating disease, uh, published 13 medical papers. And uh, when I was working in medical research as a biostatistician, uh, biostatistician is a statistician, meaning I helped uh, set up the experiments and analyze the data after the experiment was uh, completed. Uh, when I was in medical research, all I got was praise for how wonderful my humanitarian work was. Now that I, uh, uh, now that I've come into the world of fighting against the uh, the, the anti-Semitic Palestinian Authority, the vicious uh, terrorist dictatorship of the Palestinian Authority, the Arab Islamic War against Israel in the West, now I'm attacked repeatedly, but almost exclusively by Jews, by <laughs> by far left-wing Jews. In fact, only last week. J Street, the extremist, really anti-Israel group, and the New Israel Fund, another anti-Israel group, and Women for Reform Judaism, uh, have demanded that ZOA be thrown out of the JCRC in Boston. Uh, uh, so here, the far left now, that always talks about a big tent and to uh, respect diversity of views because they hate ZOA's telling the truth about the Arab Islamic War against Israel. They want us out of the JCRC. So... Uh, uh, can't the cancel culture has come uh, to the Jewish community? I'm afraid. And we're gonna we're gonna dig into this with uh, Mort Klein, president of ZOA, Zionist Organization of America. We're gonna define that in a minute. 19 in the morning. Tom Trento, your host. WWN 1470. We're uh, we're heard all over South Florida uh, on the um, terrestrial radio, the radio around. You can tune it in in your cars and wherever on iHeart. Go to WWNN1470 AM and um, click on it if you have an internet connection. And we have people in Israel listening right now. We have people in California worldwide. And if you want to watch it, go to theeditwest.org. And it's live streamed on our homepage. So you can see Mort and myself and Susie Gold over here. Uh, Mort, before we get into ZOA and what Zionism means and what your work is all about now and the attacks you are... Uh, <coughs> undergo why would a guy who has a kind of neat job helping humanity um people you walk to work and people say hi you get you know not compliments at cock parties and all of that why would you leave that world and jump into the insanity of fighting for jewish causes well i blame that exclusively on my wife <laughs> uh, I've been with her for over 45 years. Uh, so, so far it's worked out. Hopefully it will continue. Uh, 
uh, my wife kept started complaining in the late eighties that I'm not using any of the, my God, whatever God, whatever talents God gave me to help Israel and the Jewish people. She said, Israel and the Jewish people are attacked in the media uh, and p- political circles regularly. And you are not doing anything to help. And you should be using your uh, abilities, whatever they are to help our people in Israel. And she kept repeating this. And I became worried that I was going to lose her respect if I didn't do something. And it's funny, Linus Pauling told me the same thing. He got into fighting for peace. The Nobel Peace Prize is one of his Nobel Prizes because his wife kept complaining, you're not doing anything to try and promote peace. So my wife is the one who uh, 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 pressured me into this. And my daughter one day came home with her history textbook, the the most widely used textbook in the country. And uh, every paragraph about Israel had at least one lie in it. Every paragraph had at least one lie. I wrote articles about it. I went to the board. And I uh, was able to get the textbook company to rewrite the textbook. Actually, I helped rewrite it. So that, that's how I got into this. And then I did the same with the Bedeker's travel books, which was very anti-Israel, anti-Israel programs at local universities. And the, the people from the Zionist Organization of America came to me and asked me to run for president. I said, I don't want to run. I don't know how to be president. And they said, don't worry, you're running against an incumbent. You can't win, but maybe you'll inspire him. Uh, to be more activist. And I, and I said something a politician would never say. I said to them, look, if you promise me I won't win, I'll run. <laughs> <laughs> but unfortunately, I did win. Barely, but I did win. And the first day when I was president, I said, what am I supposed to do now? I don't know anything about this. <laughs> so now it's 27 years later, and uh, I'm still wow. learning what I'm supposed to do. Wow. Hey, uh, ladies and gentlemen, we're with Mort Klein. He is the president of Zionist Organization of America, and he just gave a, a very interesting... Did you know mm-hmm. that about Mort? Yeah, no, that I background? didn't know, and I've known Mort for a long time. Yeah, very interesting <laughs> transition in his life, and I think by application, because uh, our show here is designed to make people think. I think by application, uh, for those of you who be in a very good job, you say... And really, it's the call of God. You referenced that more, and that's exactly what it is. If the call of God, the hand of God on your life, you'll know it. It'll become very, very clear, regardless of how much money you're making, how much fame you're getting. If he's calling you, like he called Moses, who didn't want to do anything. Mm-hmm. If he's calling you, you can't resist that call, and you ought not resist that call. Uh, I could testify, Mort has been a tremendous inspiration in my life and whatever mm-hmm. I have done in any areas are attributed to Mort and people like that, that mm-hmm. are a tremendous inspiration. So one person can make a huge difference when they follow the call of God. What is Zionism? We need a good definition of Zionism, and what is the Zionist Organization of America? <laughs> Zionism is very simple. Zionism is simply the belief that the Jewish people have a right to a homeland in their ancient land uh, given to us by God, and... Uh, given to us by uh, resolutions in the League of Nations uh, and uh, and uh, the UN. <laughs> That's what Zionism is. Uh, that just like the Muslims have uh, 47 Muslim states, why can't the Jews have one Jewish state, one tiny Jewish state? You know, the Muslim states are 800 times the size of Israel. 800. Uh, Israel's the size of New Jersey. Tiny. And uh, that's all Zionism is, that the, the saying, accepting the fact that the Jews have a right to their homeland for whether you believe in the Bible because of God, whether you believe in the uh, international law according to the United Nations, that's all Zionism is. And ZOA was created in 1897. It's the oldest pro-Israel group in the United States and was created to fight to establish a Jewish state in, 19, in 1897. And we were in the ZOA was in the forefront when all the organizations opposed it, AJ Committee, uh, AJ Congress, uh, the Reform Movement, the Conservative Jewish Movement, all opposed it because they said then we'll be accused of dual loyalty. And they were petrified uh, about having a Jewish state. Uh, ZOA was the leader. Uh, the head of the ZOA back in the late 40s was uh, uh, Rabbi Abahil Silver. He went to the UN. He got petitions and signatures and made speeches all over the world. And it was created. So that's what Israel, as he was about. And today, we're about pro- uh, helping and promoting U.S. Israel relations and telling the truth, exposing the truth of the Arab Islamic war against Israel, that it's not about land. 
It's about hatred and refusing to accept the Jewish state. If it was about land, there were the Palestinian Authority and Palestinians, and this is not known. They've been offered a state eight times since 1937. The Peel Commission offered them a state when 95% of the land that's being discussed today, they said no. And uh, 50% of the land in Resolution 181, the United Nations 1948. In the last 20 years, three times they were offered a state on virtually all of Judea and Samaria, the West Bank. They've said no every time. So when people say we support a Palestinian state solution, uh, they ignore the fact that a state has been offered which would have been a mistake, but it has been offered and it's been turned down. Why has it been turned down? Because they are required to accept Israel as a Jewish state as one of the clauses. And they say, you must remove that clause. And they're also required to end the phony issue of so-called Arab refugees should be allowed to move into Israel, which would destroy Israel as a Jewish state. They refuse to remove those clauses. Prime Minister Olmert himself told me that's what Abbas was demanding. And he said, of course, we can't do that. They've turned it down. So the issue is Israel's existence. It has nothing to do with the Palestinian state. That, that's why a Palestinian state will not resolve anything. It'll only make it more dangerous for the world and for Israel. We'll have another uh, terrorist dictatorship run by Hamas and Iran in the Middle East. God forbid if we establish a Palestinian state. And um, uh, I'm with Mort. And he's opened up about 500 I questions. Know, lots of questions. I know. <laughs> as an evangelical Christian working for the Jewish community for the past 15, 20 years, and going back and forth. Mm -hmm. Susie Gold has come with us. Uh, one of the highlights of my life, Mort, was in 2018, the um, 70th anniversary of uh, the founding of uh, the reestablishment of Israel. Uh, myself, Dr. Ronnie Wexler, and Janine Pirro were privileged to be guests wow. of the ambassador to be on the hill at the ceremony when the embassy was moved from Tel Aviv to Jerusalem. What? an amazing moment you were there too yeah, you were yeah, yeah. we were up on the hill mm -hmm. but um uh there's there's so much there's so much to talk uh mark you had our director has a question for you and then i want to go to uh, controversy we're going to try to put this in we're going to have to have you back because we got a lot more to do but mark you had a question from mort yeah quick question mort i hear anti-semitic and <laughs> when i hear the words anti-israel and anti-Zionism. So when someone says they're anti-Israel, anti-Zionism, I hear anti-Semitic. Do you hear that? Is that what they're actually saying? If one is against Israel existing as a Jewish state, one is an anti-Semite. If one is against France existing as a state, I assure you, you hate French people. If you're against <laughs> Spain existing as a state, I assure you, you hate Spanish people. If you do not support Israel existence as a state, then you are an anti-Semite, period. Now, that doesn't mean you can't criticize Israel or America or Spain or the Palestinian Authority or anybody legitimately on policies. Of course you can. But if you say you're opposed to it being a state, if you say you want a one-state solution, which means uh, suddenly you'll have two million Palestinian Arabs being part of Israel, ending it as a Jewish state, then you're an anti-Semite. Uh, that's what I have to say about that. Case closed. That's pretty, you know, that's pretty simple, yeah. Hey, Mort, um, back in June, um, you uh, you tweeted and you got beat up for this by, as you said at the outset, Jewish organizations. You tweeted um, that uh, Black Lives Matter is an anti-Semitic, Israel-hating, Soros-funded, racist, extremist, Islamophobic hate group. You got a lot of words in there, hate group. And BLM is hating, white-hating, Israel-hating, conservative black-hating, violence promoting dangerous Soros extremist group of haters. Bravo. I think you nailed it on the head there. But, man, you got the hell knocked out of you or they attempted by Jewish organizations. What deal? That's right. Well, it's incredible. I mean, Black Lives Matter platform says Israel is a genocidal state who is uh, working to murder every Arab, which is an amazing statement. Since in 1948, there were 150,000 Arabs in this area of Israel. Today, there's almost two million Arabs. Whoever's in charge of Israel's genocide program has to be fired immediately. It's not working. So this is one of the absurd allegations. <laughs> they call this from the apartheid That's funny. state. That's funny. An apartheid state, even though uh, there are Arabs in the Supreme Court. Uh, there are Arabs uh, working in the Hadassah Hospital. Arab to 10% of the Knesset are Arabs. It's ri a ridiculous anti-Semitic statement. <laughs> and they, of course, they support BDS. They support boycotting Israel and marginalizing Israel. <laughs> so... Uh, 
in my duty as head of ZOA, I have to call out uh, anti-Semitic forces. I never called them out before because they weren't important. But now they've gained credibility and notoriety and visibility and, cre and credibility, and people are now listening to them. I thought it was important to cite their horrific uh, platform. That's all I did. Now, by the way, I also put out statements against... Uh, you know, uh, what, what happened to George Floyd and other uh, handful of other blacks by police. Although it's, it's funny, uh, last year only nine unarmed blacks were killed by police. 7,000 blacks were killed by other blacks. If you care about black lives, you work on the issue where the 7,000 were killed, not where nine were killed. But this is not about uh, black lives. This is about being anti-American and transforming America into a communist country. Mm -hmm. So when I did, when I pointed this out about Black Lives Matter, 16 Jewish organizations, all the, all the leaders of the reform movement, Rick Jacobs, the leaders of the conservative Jewish movement, Rabbi Blumenthal and others, uh, the Jewish women's groups, National Council for Jewish Women, uh, Amenu Hayas, which is a, a phony Jewish group. Uh, they only bring 1% of the refugees they resettled who are Jewish in America. 99% uh, are, are not Jewish. The majority of them are Muslims. And they're, they come from radical terrorist re regimes like Syria, very dangerous. They attacked me uh, as a racist and as a hater. So simply pointing out the truth of their platform makes me a hater. They're the haters. I'm just saying, look what they're saying. It's horrible. Mm -hmm. And uh, also J Street, New Israel Fund, uh, Trua, and other radical left-wing groups demand that I be thrown out of the Conference of Presidents, the Umbrella Group, of 51 Jewish organizations, of which ZOA was a charter founder in 1956. And I've been attacked for it bitterly. And uh, of course, I fought back and explained how despicably wrong they are. Um, and I filed formal complaints within the Conference of Presidents, the Umbrella Group, demanding they be sanctioned and a, and a public apology must be, uh, happen. Uh, All right. So we'll see yeah. what happens with that. So, that's, uh, so, that, so the adjectives I used, the reason there's only 20 is I couldn't think of 20. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. I would have used it. Right. My thesaurus and the source. Of my I have more adjectives than it's a th the source. Oh, that's great. You're great, more quite the leader, and uh, no way is so. Uh, it's there. They are so so. Uh, gr it's so great that you serve as the leadership, and uh, we're all grateful to you um, for being the pro-Israel organization, and also for exposing the truth about Black Lives Matter, and of course on so many issues. So thank you so much for joining us today. And uh, like Tom said, we have a lot of questions for you. Um, we are author of information, and we'd love back on the show again. Absolutely. So thank you so much more. Your audience to go into ZOA.org. They'll learn more about the issues we've discussed and much more. ZOA.org. Thank you. ZOA.org. Absolutely. Go do it, ladies and gentlemen. Tom Trento here. Privileged to have Mort Klein with us. Great guy.